हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज नेहा माथुर एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम नेटवर्क थ्योरी सी द टुडेज टॉपिक इज टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक कंसिडर टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन टू गेट अपडेटेड फॉर द अपकमिंग वीडियोज फाइन सो आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क सी बेसिकली टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क इज एन इक्विवेलेंट मॉडल If we are going to analyze any electrical circuit, then in that case, that particular equivalent, that particular electrical circuit can be easily converted into two-port network, so that the analyzing of that particular circuit is going to be more easy. So, two-port network is just a method in which we will convert a given electrical network into an equivalent model, and that equivalent model is a two-port network. actually two port network looks like this or i can say that a two port network can easily be represented just like this block diagram this is for two port network for any electrical network circuit any kind of circuit here the name itself indicating that the particular network will have two ports that means a one port which is going to be treated as an input port while the other port is treated as an output port so any network in which we have two ports one is treated as an input port and second is treated as an output port such kind of networks come under a category of two port networks so here we have two ports one is input port and second it is output port and the second important thing is both the ports will have a pair of terminals that means here you can see that at this input port we have two terminals this one and this one and the name for the terminals i am denoting it like 1 and 1 dash you can denote it by a a dash b b dash whatever you want similarly the output port will also contain two terminals and here i am denoting it like 2 and 2 dash so now you can see that this is a simply a two port network in which this input port will have two terminals one and one dash similarly a output port second port of the network again will have two terminals two and two dash now the second important thing belongs from this uh, two port network theory is that here you will have total four variables the first variable is i1 i2 v1 and v2 so you have total four variables because you have two ports and all the ports one port and second port is itself having two terminals now that means we can consider here four number of variables for the representation of such kind of two port networks so we have two uh, currents i1 and i2 for the both ports respectively similarly two voltage for both the ports now the representation of these four variables is going to be very easy for the first port you can mention it like that the current is entering from here i should use a different mark see this is a simply i1 current the current is entering at the input port similarly the leaving current the current is leaving from the i1 the current is leaving from that port i1 i1 because this is an input port this is a first port of the network similarly for the output port you can ma uh, make it like that the current is entering from here and the current is leaving from here so now you can see that for both individual ports you have two independent currents i1 and i2 similar similarly for input port and output output port you can men mention your own voltage plus minus this is going to be a v1 v1 input voltage for the first port similarly for the second port we have v2 so basically i can say that this is just a simple representation of a two port network in which you have one input port having two input terminals similarly one output port having two in uh, two terminals Uh, or i can say that uh, at first port and second port both the uh, uh, ports are available with a pair of terminals and the representation of the terminal is very simple since this is a first port so i can say 1 and 1 dash and since this is a second port i can put it like 2 and 2 dash and the uh, and again 
uh, we have four variables i1 i2 and v1 v2 uh, with with uh, with respect to these two ports so this is just a simple representation of any kind of two port network now the important thing is we have four variables and out of these four variables we can consider any of the two variables as an dependent variable while remaining two variables can be treated as an independent variable it depends on the type of port we are going to discuss in the uh, in in next uh, topic so the thing is two variables will be dependent variable and the remaining two variables will be independent variables fine so this is the basic of two port network now on behalf of these four variables that out of these four which is going to be dependent and which is going to be independent variable we have six type of two port network parameters and they are z parameters y parameters t parameters t dash parameters h parameters and g parameters so we are going to discuss all the parameters related to two port network one by one and i am again repeating that this classification is on the basis of the parameters we are going to choose in the form of variables like i1 i2 and v1 v2 so this is all about the basics of two port network if you are following the concept consider to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get updated for the upcoming videos and in the next uh, next series we will discuss all the categories of these two port networks fine thank you